the top of the Sun Pyramid in Bosnia, he measured in a radius, again, four and a half meters, ultrasound, regular. And he had found a way to convert 28 kilohertz to something that we can hear, eight kilohertz. So let's hear how the Bosnian Pyramid speaks. Somebody is sending faxes, fax messages. People were saying, it seems there is something there, why don't you slow it down? Which we did. Well, this is a country of miracles. Our pyramid speaks, sending faxes. This is how the sound looks like. Peak 28, peak 28, peak 20. So we have the same peaks, we have the regular distances, we have blocks of ultrasound. When you have blocks, you have to have artificial source, a machine. And then we've checked the nearby hills in Visoko. We don't have those peaks, we don't have regularity, we don't have blocks. Then we've checked a mountain in Italy with a pyramidal shape, Monte Pavione. And again, no same peaks, no regularity, no blocks. Only the Bosnian pyramid of the sun is actually an energy machine. Why is this frequency important? American Ralph Ring was experimenting with different ultrasound frequencies, 21 kHz, 22, 23, 24. When he came to 28, he had a ping-pong balls above the source of the sound. And at this frequency, ball started levitating. He went to bed, came back next morning, the ball was still in the air. It meant this frequency is excellent for the levitation. So, when you come to the top of the Sun Pyramid, don't stay for too long, otherwise we'll be looking for you behind the clouds. <laughs>